Hello, my name's Denny. This is my plant-based journey, and I just wanted to wish you a happy holidays. I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about what we can do during the holidays to feed our family and friends with foods that they'll actually enjoy. I get this question a lot, and so I'm gonna to try to help you out as we enter into the last couple of weeks of the holiday season. All right, I took off my mask and uh, my hat. The batteries on my hat went dead. I hope you can see these. These gloves are pretty cool. Um, I normally dress up like this and uh, ride in the Christmas parade, but due to the things going on in society today, we don't have the Christmas parade this year. Uh, so uh, I used the opportunity to go out and visit some people and, and uh, to uh, just enjoy the time and uh, didn't go in the houses, just went by and said hello and spread a little uh, holiday cheer. But uh, I've got to get some new batteries for my hat, uh, but it flashes too, so very colorful. N normally what I do is I'll ride my motorcycle and I make Rudolph look like, or the motorcycle look like Rudolph, got a big red nose on the front and antlers up high. And then I light him all up and, and put a huge present on the back seat and uh, use it as a, a chance to enjoy some time during the season. But things are different this year. Now, having said that, there are some things that are very consistent this year. In fact, it's the same things we deal with all the time. If you eat a whole food plant-based diet and you're with family, even if it's just a few people this year instead of your normal big group, the question is, what do I feed people? What, what do I give them? What are they gonna eat? And so I thought I might talk to you about that today. I'll try to be brief. And um, also I wanted to follow up on a couple of things. First of all, I hope you did well in October and November and uh, that you're gonna finish December strong. Uh, I have another video that I'm gonna release pretty soon as soon as I get it edited that shows you a, a couple of recipes that I like to make that my family eats and my friends eat and it, it's a vegan whole food meal that they can modify for themselves. Included in that is a rant a little bit because so oftentimes in this community, if you talk about, well, my certain member of my family doesn't eat this way, or how do I make sure that they have chicken or beef or cheese or whatever it might be to go along with their meal, there are some that have been very harsh and very negative and they mistreat people and they talk down to them. They'll even remove them from their forums because everyone they know in their families, everyone they know in their friendship, everyone they know in their workplace isn't eating just like they are. I got news for you. None of us have families that are 100% compliant. None of us have coworkers that are 100% compliant. None of us have family and friends and associates that eat exactly the way we eat. Folks, this is just silly. The way some people behave in this community, there's a very, false, very, very small percentage of us who eat the way we're eating. And so let's not mistreat somebody or kick them off a forum because they suggested that while they make this for themselves, they also provide an option for the rest of their family and friends. That's just silly. What we wanna do is show them some alternatives. So that's part of what we talk about in this next video. But also, I want to tell you that I, I have some other videos that I had planned and some that I had recorded making some of these very recipes that I'm going to talk about today, but I have a couple of issues. For one, my computer crashed a couple of weeks ago. I've been fighting with that. Yesterday, I finally got the last bit of data transferred. I was not able to save everything. Um, and then on top of that, the SD card in my camera uh, received a, a warning and it is corrupt. Now it's not in this camera. Uh, I'm shooting in a Canon camera here, but I had a GoPro and uh, it, for some reason, the SD card was corrupt and it did not record. Well, it may have recorded, but I cannot retrieve the data. I've tried to transfer it to a couple of different computers. I've tried different card readers. I cannot get that data to come back. So because of that, the videos that I had planned, the videos that I recorded, the things that I was working on leading up to uh, this holiday season, they're all gone. And I, and I apologize for that. That was certainly not my intent. 
Uh, on top of that, getting back to work after being gone for uh, a month with the coronavirus, and uh, also uh, being one who uh, had to catch up with a lot of the things on work, get a bunch of paperwork done, uh, chasing those things down, also dealing with things like uh, my my insurance company and those kinds of things, trying to get some financial help uh, for the time that I was down, things like that. It's just, it's made my time uh, very, very limited. So uh, on top of the, the, the computer crashing, the SD card, and then all the other complications, it's just been a difficult few weeks trying to get these things done. Now, I don't want a bunch of boohoos or sympathy. That's not what I'm asking for. It's just, I, I apologize because I really intended to have some other things for you right now. But because I can't do those things and we're getting close on time, I just want to talk to you about some things you can do. So let me grab my notebook and I will be right back. All right, so let me talk about some recipes or some meal plans that you can use with your entire family that will be beneficial for you to continue to eat a, a plant-based diet while allowing some flexibility for your friends and family, but also they can eat this meal and they'll love it. And so uh, let me just start talking about them. Obviously, I'm not gonna have time to cook all of these recipes uh, before the holidays. Uh, so let's just start with some things you can do. How about appetizers? Now, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of appetizers that you can make that your family and friends will eat. In fact, they eat them now. They just don't understand that they're plant-based. You know, you could do uh, uh, different types of potatoes. I like to roast some potatoes, cool them, slice them, and then put some onions and the potatoes back in a, an electric skillet or in the air fryer or in the oven and crisp them up. And you have a potato-onion kind of mixture that is great. Uh, as a side or an appetizer. Uh, obviously, you could do french fries. You could do fries with uh, uh, different gravies on them or things along those lines. Uh, there are nachos that you can make. You could, you could buy chips, you could buy baked chips, you could buy baked tostados, uh, baked um, uh, tortillas, or you could buy your own tortillas and you could bake these things for uh, a chalupa or tostado, or you could cut them up into chip size portions. You can use pita. There's all different ways you can make nachos. But then you, you make you know some beans, a quick easy way to make refries. You take the beans, uh, you drain the juice off of them, you rinse them if they're in a can, or if you make your own, you don't have to worry about that. But you take the beans, you put them in a pan, you mash them up, you add your favorite seasonings, uh, taco seasonings, typically consist of things like garlic and cumin um, and uh, different uh, powders like paprika or uh, chili powder, whatever you like, onion powder. Mix it all up, give it a flavor so you got some faux refried beans. They won't know they're not refried. Uh, then you could you know, have shredded lettuce and tomatoes and onions and jalapenos, uh, different things that you like to put on your nachos. You can put just about any kind of vegetable on a nacho. You could saute some mushrooms, uh, some zucchini, some squash, whatever you like, and put them on those nachos. You could add to it some cauliflower taco meat, or you could uh, uh, even use things like um, mushrooms or whatever to give it a, that kind of flavor uh, of taco meat. And if, if you have family that just are insistent, they could also have their own taco meat to go to it. You don't have to eat it, but they could. And then the question comes, well, what about cheese? Well, I don't usually put the cheese on it for myself, but you know, you could use a plant-based cheese. I'm, I'm not a fan of those. If you watch the channel, you know I'm not a big fan of those fake cheeses. They just don't taste good to me. Uh, and uh, the texture is not what I like, but they could have their own cheese if that's what they wanted or I like to make some of the the uh, cheese sauce type recipes and I, I happen to like Jill's better than the others and so I'll make that you could turn it into a salsa or a hot sauce based cheese dip uh, you could put uh, pico de gallo and cilantro and uh, I doctor mine up whenever we have uh, nachos, and that's what I do. I'll make, I'll take about half of that recipe, and I'll put onions and jalapenos and tomatoes and cilantro and lime juice, and it just comes alive. It's great. I really enjoy it. So that's something you could do. You could make soups, and I'll talk about soups more in a minute. But for an appetizer, I'd, I'd suggest something like a vegetable soup. I have one that I made a video, but it's not going to be able to be seen. It's it's a corrupt file, and I use these uh, uh, petite 
frozen vegetables, CW uh, petite vegetables. I'll put a couple of packages of those in. I'll put some Simply Potatoes, diced potatoes in there. I'll add some uh, white beans, uh, navy beans, whatever you have. Uh, a couple of cans of that. I'll mix it all up. I'll put some Italian seasoning or other seasonings in it along with onion and garlic. And you have a great vegetable soup that tastes wonderful. It's got carrots and corn and peas. It has uh, lima beans, I believe. It's got several different things in it in addition to, uh, you know, the normal carrots and, and corn and potatoes and, and so on. Uh, green beans. It has green beans in it. It's, it's just a great little soup. I enjoy eating it. That's something that you could make. Uh, salads. You know, a lot of people think that's all we eat is salads, but there's something good about eating a, a fresh salad, eating the greens and tomatoes and mushrooms and radish and uh, carrot and cucumber, whatever you like. And you can get fake ranch dressing. You could get, well, it's ranch dressing. It's just not dairy based, right? Um, I, I have some of the Well Your World Catalina. Um, I've got some uh, other things that I use. I've got some balsamic vinegars. I've got several vinegars that are from uh, a company that the Esselstyn family recommends. Uh, all of those are good. You, you don't have to um, cover it up in rich, sugary, dairy-based dressings. There's all kinds of things, or even oil-based types of dressings. Uh, I made one a few years ago that was made from strawberries and uh, it was wonderful, wonderful dressing uh, with, with strawberries and balsamic, balsamic vinegar. And any type of salad like that is a good appetizer. You could also make uh, veggie or fruit, fruit trays. You could have uh, different things uh, set up for that. You could grill the fruit or vegetables. There's all kinds of things you could do for appetizers. But let's talk about entrees. One of my favorite is soups or stews or chilies. I make several different versions of chili. I have a bunch of different soups that I make. Um, there's a couple of stews that I make. I make it just like if I was going to make uh, a roast with potatoes and carrots and onions, but there's no meat and the gravy is a little different. But uh, I'll make that stew and it's very similar in flavor and taste to what they would have with a traditional vegetable beef stew, except there's no meat in it. Now, if they wanted it, you could always have a roast on the side that they could add to their soup. Uh, you know, obviously you don't want to eat that way, but it, there's nothing wrong with being able to accommodate people in your family that, that are going to eat this way. All right, so we want to show them that they can eat something and it tastes great and they don't need the meat and dairy. All right, so uh, there's some other things. I like to make potato soup, uh, tomato soup, tortilla soup. I have a couple of versions of tortilla soup. Uh, broccoli soup. You can make a broccoli cheese soup using potatoes or cauliflower as your base, throwing in the broccoli, uh, using an immersion blender and uh, pureeing it for the most part, add you in a little bit of more potato, add uh, for chunks, you could add some more thicker broccoli. And if you want that cheese flavor, do you add some nutritional yeast, you add some of that Jill's cheese sauce, and you've got a broccoli cheese soup, that's great. Uh, on the potato soup, same kind of thing. You can add some of that cheese sauce or the nooch, and, and it will be great. And if they just insist on having cheese and bacon bits with their, their soup, then let them have it. But you eat your, your healthy meal. I also like to make different types of beans. I make them in the crock pot, I make them on the stove, I'll make them in my instant pot. All of those things are... are um, options and, and I, I know that there are a million recipes out there. Uh, I wish I could share some more with you. We don't have time for that but but don't hesitate to make soups and stews and, and chili. If you're going to make chili there's one that I recommend that you try. It will help you in your process. Um, there is a, a great one out there by the Brand New Vegan. There is a video about it on YouTube, also on his website. Um, and I've made that one a couple of times. I've modified it a little bit. I put a little more uh, heat to it. More chili powder and paprika and chipotle and jalapenos and things like that. But I, I like it hot and spicy. Uh, so uh, try that. And if you make that kind of a, a vegan chili, uh, a whole food plant-based chili is better, but uh, if you make that, there's a bunch of options. You could eat it as chili, like just in a bowl, and you could add some, you know, uh, cornbread or uh, crackers, whatever it is that you like. Uh, 
You can also make the things that they like available, like shredded cheese. You could do the diced onions, whatever it is that you like on that. You could also make Frito pie. You could make, um, you know, carrot dogs and put the chili on top. I have a video on that. I like making corn dogs, uh, excuse me, I like making the, uh, the carrot dogs. Uh, a corn dog would be fine too, uh, but uh, a carrot dog. Um, and then add that chili to it. And again, they can use the fake cheeses or they can use real cheese if they prefer. You could also make a chili burger. Now you can make a bean burger. I have about 50 recipes for bean burgers. I really don't have one that I say is the greatest ever, uh, but uh, there are some good ones out there. There's some that, that might be a little mushy, uh, but you can make you a, a bean burger. You could, you could also do what, what I prefer to do actually, is I make the sandwiches out of potatoes. Remember those red potatoes and onions I talked about as an appetizer? I'll put that on the sandwich. I'll put some uh, shredded uh, cabbage or coleslaw on the, the sandwich. Um, I'll use barbecue sauce or I'll use um, you know, Frank's Red Hot and make it spicy or, or you could make it like a burger and give it some burger seasonings and flavor. Uh, but I'll put those on a sandwich. Those are, are great things to do. But you could make that burger with chili on top. That's another great opportunity. One meal that I really enjoy eating is mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, and sometimes what I'll do is I'll make mashed potatoes and I'll put one of those vegetable soups on top instead of gravy. It's a great meal. I really enjoy it and I think you will too. I like beans and rice as an entree. Uh, you can spice it up however you want. There's, I, I bet I've spiced it up a hundred different ways. Uh, but you make beans and rice. One of the things you can do with beans and rice is follow Esther's recipe where you take the uh, two cups of uh, red beans, you take the one cup of uh, brown rice. I will tell you, I tried the jasmine rice and it came out as mush, so don't do that. But uh, you know, you put in the, uh, the seven and a half cups or eight cups of the liquid, veggie broth or water, and then you add three tablespoons of your favorite seasoning, or you can doctor it up. I'll, sometimes I'll put garlic and onion and all different kinds of seasonings in it. But you can just make it simple with some taco seasoning, some beans and rice and water, put it in your Instant Pot, cook it for about an hour, and then let it set overnight and it'll be ready to serve. Leave it in there. Don't, don't uh, uh, allow the uh, pressure to uh, be steamed off uh, by you pulling the lever. Instead, let it naturally deplete, and in the morning, you'll make it right before bed. In the morning, it's ready to go. I'll make that. I use it quite a bit. It's a good meal. Uh, you can also do make your own pizza. Make your pizza dough, uh, or you can even buy some things that are pre-made doughs. And with that, uh, you cut up your vegetables. I like bell peppers, I like mushrooms, I like the red onion in small pieces, thin sliced. Uh, spinach is a must, you gotta have spinach. You can throw some tomatoes on there, some nooch, uh, some garlic, uh, whatever you like, throw it on there. Then they can make theirs however they want to. You can even provide for them other options. You can provide them with the traditional pizza options that they like, but they can see this good meal that you've made for yourself. You could do tacos or burritos. I really like brand new vegans, cauliflower taco recipe. Uh, I will say that uh, I don't always rice my cauliflower. Sometimes I'll just buy the rice cauliflower. Uh, but you can make it out of beans, out of mushrooms. You can make it with the walnuts. You can make it, there's just so many different ways to make tacos uh, out of um, different plant-based ingredients. Same thing with burritos. You make the tacos, the taco meat, if you will, out of mushrooms, cauliflower, whatever you like, uh, sauteed potatoes, whatever you want. And then um, add to it your beans, uh, your different vegetables, your different greens, uh, things like sprouts or, or whatever it is that you like, cabbage, throw it on that burrito, season it up, go to town. The, those are just some things. I, Another meal that we'll eat, I had it the other day, I went to the store, I was picking up some things, and they had some fresh ears of corn. And I just bought a couple of packages of corn, came home, threw them on the stove, and uh, that night I ate four ears of corn. So that was my meal. All right, so uh, those are some things you can choose. Now, by the way, normally I eat corn with other things too, but on that particular day, it was my meal. Uh, desserts, there's all kinds of desserts. Obviously, sliced fruits, diced fruits, you could um, do frozen fruits, you could do sorbets, you could do nice cream, and actually I have a video coming up uh, after the new year. I'm going to show you about five different ways to make nice cream, and uh, I think you'll enjoy that. Uh, but uh, 
Chef AJ on her channel uh, does a lot of uh, dessert. She was a, a uh, I, I hate to say was, she still is. She's not doing it as her, her living these days, uh, but as a pastry chef, she knows a lot about desserts and how they work together, what flavors work well together, how to make the things uh, look and taste like they ought to. And so you can see some of those on her channel. I, I believe she has a new class coming up after the first of the year that you can be a part of. There are other things like that. Uh, I, I, I usually do a, a Google search and just look for different things when I want to make a dessert. I'm not the biggest sweets person in the world. Uh, I prefer the potatoes. That's really my thing. Uh, so I like the potatoes, rice, and beans. I like the spicy things. I would rather have another bowl of beans and rice than the sweets, uh, but occasionally the sweets are good. This time of year, a lot of people are eating sweets. I've made some no-bake cookies. Uh, they were okay. I've made some different uh, uh, pastry type items that were okay. I made an apple pie. I made a chocolate pie. Uh, I made a pumpkin pie. I have made a lot of things like that that I intended to have as videos for you. Uh, the chocolate pie was okay. It didn't quite set the way I thought it would, um, but it was set more firmly than the pumpkin. The pumpkin pie was a little um, kind of like mashed potato-y instead of firm like you're traditionally eating. And I don't mean it was runny. It didn't shift all over the pan, uh, but when you did cut a slice, it, it was soft. Uh, so uh, I will probably use less liquid next time. Uh, I will say that they all, they all came out too sweet for me following some of the recipes that I, I made. Again, I'm not a big sweets person, but the, I will cut back things like maple syrup next time when I make those ingredients. There's all kinds of things, but fruit is a great dessert. Uh, grapes are terrific. Now a lot of sugar, don't set me to a whole bag. Uh, but you can also, it, it, when it's hot, throw them in the freezer and pull them out, take them with you, pop them in, nice little treat. Those are just some things. Make some green beans. You know, if you want to, there's a green bean casserole that is traditional throughout the holidays. Do you know that you can make your own cream of mushroom soup without dairy? And that cream of mushroom soup will do the same thing with your green beans and make a green bean casserole without having to use dairy. And it tastes great. Whatever it is that you're used to eating, I, I would guarantee you that the foods you're normally eating at Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year, so on, most of the items that you think about are the sides as much as it is the entree. You know, if you're going to eat a turkey or a ham, you usually have five, six, seven sides that become the main source of your meal. You know, you can make all of those sides a whole food plant-based meal. Uh, it may be that at New Year's, you're going to have a special meal. And often it includes black eyed peas. Make black eyed peas or black eyed pea soup the center of your meal. There's a great uh, salad, I guess you'll call it a salad, with black eyed peas and kale and red onion and uh, quinoa. And uh, it's got protein, it's got energy, it's got greens, it's healthy for you, it tastes great. Uh, and uh, that, that's another type of meal you can have. There, there's an unlimited, unlimited amount of great food that you can eat that your family will eat too. And uh, I know it's hard, especially when you're first trying to transition into this, but I just wanted to share a few options. Like I said, with my computer crashing, with my SD card being corrupt on my other camera, uh, and with... Uh, the things getting back from being sick and out of work for a while. Um, it, it's been hard to catch up. And so I will have a video coming out real soon that has a rant uh, a little bit because it really does bother me that there are some in this community that think that because you eat a certain way that you can have no association with family and friends and coworkers and people at church or people in the community or some club you're a part of who don't eat this way. You, 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 should, you should just treat them badly. And as I said before, I, I, uh, I know that people have been kicked off of forums and communities and groups uh, a few years ago. And it really bothered me because I was new to this type of eating. But I, I uh, made a comment about, you know, whenever I'm making tortilla soup, and there are people in my family that don't eat the way I do, that I had provided 
the opportunity for them to have some chicken fajita to throw in their tortilla soup, which is pretty traditional, and even the cheeses. And I was kicked off of the forum of a pretty popular and well-known person within the community uh, because I suggested such a thing because the question was being asked then. Folks, that question was not only being asked then, it's being asked today. And in two, three, four, five years from now, it's going to be asked then. Because not everybody eats like we do. In fact, just a very small percentage eat like we do. But uh, it doesn't have to be the end of the world. In fact, we just need to keep showing them that there are good alternatives. These are just some. There's many things that you could do. And I hope that you'll try some of these things. Uh, if you need help finding a recipe, or if you need some tips, let me know. I'll, I'll help you with that. One of the things I like to do in the summer, maybe not so much right now, is I'll take you know, vegetables and I'll saute them on the grill, like the zucchinis, the squash, uh, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers, things along those lines. I'll throw those in my burrito along with my beans and rice. It is fantastic, and I know you'll love it. But there's salsas, there's soups, there's stews, the mashed potatoes, all kinds of potatoes that'll work, sweet potatoes, yams. You can, there's so many things, carrots. Uh, just There's so much that you can serve that you'll eat and your family will like it too. If nothing else, while maybe not healthy, it is vegan, if your family's eating a meal and you're a guest and they don't have anything for you to eat, make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or as uh, Dr. Scott Stoll will say sometimes, if you ever watch him or if you've ever listened to his lecture, it'll be all right if you miss a meal too. <laughs> uh, you know, with the old adage, call me anything you want, just don't call me late for supper. Uh, so uh, we need to be able to understand that adaptation and compassion and kindness is something that we ought to show in uh, this time of year, including how we eat with friends and family and coworkers. So let's not be the guy who's throwing a fit and running people off because they don't eat the same way we do. Instead, let's give them the base of the meal as something healthy. And if they want to add something to it, let them do it. But you make sure that you provide something that's wholesome and healthy and will give them an opportunity to enjoy the meal. I promise you they won't know the difference if they'll just try it. Let me also say this in closing. I um, have names from the first month, October, from those who were doing good, and I'm going to draw a book winner from that group. I need the names of those who kept on working through the end of November who are making progress. They worked on their goal. They were either losing weight or uh, putting away some side that, that was that was a detrimental to them or they've gone from uh, being one who's eating mostly plants to eating all of plants or uh, maybe they've exercised every day or five days a week. Whatever your plan, if you had communicated it to us that you were going to participate in this and you've been doing that in October and November, let me know your results in the comments below and your name will go into the drawing for the second book giveaway for the fourth quarter of the year. And then as we finish up strong, we've got another uh, week or so, week and a half uh, left, almost two weeks of this year. So finish the month strong. And then in January, the first week of January, I'll ask you to put in your results for the fourth quarter and those people who uh, entered and who have uh, attempted to make progress during these four, uh, during these three months in this fourth quarter, I'll draw your name out and we'll pick the third person to receive a whole food plant-based cooking book or educational book uh, and I'll have those sent to you. I have some great things planned for 2021. Uh, including some exercise, some meal plans, and other things that will uh, challenge us to really improve. In 2021, I'm going to finish this journey getting down to where I need to be in my weight, getting my health where it is, getting off my medications, and being back on track for a long and healthy life as much as depends on me. And so we've made a lot of progress this year. It's time to finish this journey. And so I hope you participate in this challenge that we've been doing for the last three months and that you're going to join us as we go forward into January 2021.
All right, so my battery died, and it's about to die again. I hope you have a great holiday. We'll see you next time. My name's Denny. This is my plant-based journey. Let's do a great job of finishing the year, and then in 2021, let's take it over the top. A lot of drawings, a lot of prizes, and a lot of opportunities coming your way. More than that, some recipes that will help you in your daily life. I hope you have a great holiday. Happy holidays. Be safe. Make sure you wear your mask in public, social distance, do whatever you can to help keep yourself and others healthy. We'll talk to you later. Have a great end to the year 2020.